body bags were Horlies. What is up, y'all? Dairy Devils at you again. New month, new week on the body bags. So back to random reviews. Um, I got a film from 2012, and that is Hansel and Gretel Get Baked. Um, so obviously kind of cheesy title. Um, but up front, it's, it's not a straight-up comedy horror. It's it's way more serious than I think the title would let, let on to think, so I think that's a cool factor going into it. Um, but basically, of course, you got Hansel and Gretel, um, modern teenage version, um, hanging out in the house, and Gretel's boyfriend. Yes, Gretel and uh, her boyfriend are like big stoners. So they're uh, about to make some weed cookies, and they figure out they, they need some weed. Um, and they hear about this old lady down the street that supposedly has some good herb. And of course, this is the witch. Um, so he goes to get some, score some herb, and then, of course, bad shit goes down. He ends up eating some of her cookies, passing out, and waking up uh, pretty much trapped. So you have, you know, basic the movie is trying to find Gretel's boyfriend and uh, so yeah don't want to go into too much um, really dig the witch character um, they did good makeup on Laura Flynn Boyle Laura Flynn Boyle and they did uh, really good makeup like prosthetics to get the witch old look and um, but yeah as I was saying the witch character is really interesting and uh, like she has to basically feed on humans to gain powers and so she's a cannibalistic uh, witch <laughs> so that's that's pretty cool element to this film um, no it, it is indie more low budget <clears throat> uh, straight to video release of course so um, you know not super high budget for this one but it, it looks really good like I said straight practical effects um, yeah, just well put together, produced all the, you know, just pretty cre creepy house, like atmospheric with some of the scenes when uh, she's in it. So, uh, <clears throat> and it, uh, there's like interlacing characters. You also have these thug drug dealers that, of course, see her as competition. Um, so, I, I mean, it's based pretty loosely on the Hansel and Gretel fairy tale and you've uh, substituted her as a weed dealer instead of candy to lure people in. Um, really interesting gore, like way more than I expected and uh, solid practicals. Not too much in the CG department, there is some here and there. Um, it seems to be well acted by everybody in this. Um, like I said, there is some funny scenes here and there, but it is uh, more serious than I think the title lets on. It's a horror first co with uh, comedic elements. Um, so yeah, go in with it. You know, go in to the movie with that in mind. Um, yeah, this is just a really solid uh, little kind of hidden gem horror film, in my opinion. Um, I'd give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. So... Oh, yeah until next week y'all appreciate y'all watching peace i mean i guess a pretty somewhat basic plot uh would be kind of a downfall but it, it's a it's a fun little ride in that department um and i feel like the characters do have enough like likability and originality to them uh, like i said not i really like how they enter what well the kind of gangster characters uh, to give it a little more dynamic and characters besides just um, Hansel and Gretel and the witch, basically. So you got more parties involved and kind of interlay in the little story a little bit. Just to, you know, just to spice it up a little bit. Like I said, because it is a pretty basic plot. Um, and it's 90 minutes, straight little watch. Um, you know, so it, it, it flies by. So I, that's always a plus in a movie for me. Um,